Disclaimer. This video is only made for educational purposes, and it includes some stuff you might don't want to hear about. So if you are a soft-hearted person, you can skip this video. Sorry, my lord. We Sorry. couldn't find enough rubber. How can you not find it or not? I will punish you. My lord, we can't find my it lord, anymore. Can't Please find forgive us. Okay, then. Guards, cut their hands off. Hey there, everyone. This is Mr. Uncanny. Today I will be talking about during the late 19th and early 20th centuries when King Leopold I.L. of Belgium ruled over the Congo Free State as his personal colony. On February 5, 1885, Belgian King Leopold II established the Congo Free State by brutally seizing the African landmass as his personal possession. Rather than control the Congo as a colony, as other European powers did throughout Africa, Leopold privately owned the region. Under his exploitative reign, the Congolese people suffered immensely. King Leopold's primary motive was to extract as much wealth as possible from the Congo, particularly through the production of rubber. To enforce his control and maximize profits, King Leopold imposed a reign of terror on the Congolese population. Leopold's reign over the Congo Free State, however, has become infamous for its brutality. The people of the Congo were forced to labor for valued resources, including rubber and ivory, to personally enrich Leopold. Estimates vary, but about half the Congolese population died from punishment and malnutrition. Many more suffered from disease and torture. Among those who weren't killed, many were punished by having a hand and or foot amputated. Thousands of Congolese were subjected to executions, including public hangings, or had their hands amputated as a means of punishment. These cruel acts were carried out as a deterrent and as a means of maintaining control over the local population. The atrocities committed during this period have been well documented and are considered one of the darkest chapters in colonial history. The people of the Congo did not suffer these injustices without fighting back. Several rebellions were mercilessly put down under Leopold's direction. As the realities and suffering within the Congo Free State became more widely known, many European people spoke out against these abuses. Demonstrations and protests demanded that Leopold end human rights abuses in the Congo Free State. In 1908, international pressure forced the king to turn the Congo Free State over to the country of Belgium. The newly named Belgian Congo remained a colony until the Democratic Republic of Congo gained its independence in 1960. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more such content. You can also suggest me content on my Instagram account. Must follow me on Instagram too for more additional content.